Hi everyone, it's Mina. I have been played in KMS Scania server for around 10 years and moved to GMS Reboot server last year. Some of you might know that there is a truck protest going on against MapleStory in Korea. In this video, I go more on depth about what is truly going on, why did it happen, and the company's response. First of all, in Korea, the revised plan of Game Industry Promotion Act has proposed including the article Mandatory Disclosure of Probability of Random Items. Basically, this means that any Korean game company has to disclose the probability of random items. In return, the Korea Association of Game Industry are saying that the probability is confidential and the probability fluctuates according to the game's progress, so it's hard to measure the exact probability, which doesn't really make sense. On February 18, KMS released its test server client patch note. It's written all kinds of bonus stats that can be granted to the item will be modified to give the same probability. And the users are like, what? Wasn't this already the case? Because the reverse flame item description is written random stats will be given to the equipment. So the issue with MapleStory is that the stats were supposed to be assigned randomly as in the item description. However, there was a logic behind them making it harder to get some combination of stats. The word mujagi, which means random in Korean, was used to describe the reverse flame. And the definition of mujagi is everything that can happen from sampling statistics occurs with equal probability. So the description is saying that the item has equal probability, but in fact, it was not having the same probability before February 18. In fact, MapleStory users have been questioning for years if there's any logic behind the bonus stat system. In 2019, a user asked if there's any algorithm behind the flame system, as the all step percent option has a high chance of coming with the jump option. MapleStory replied that there is no error behind the flame system, saying that the probability of granting other options is not determined by whether or not a particular option is granted. Thus, users had to spend a lot of money to get the desired options, thinking that all options are randomly generated and had an equal probability occurring. It's like, let's say that you can randomly have ingredients for your burger and you want cabbage, cheese, onion, and meat and you keep reordering to get the perfect burger and you find out that cabbage often comes with shoot. Who wants shoot? So you ask the manager if the probability of getting shoot with the cabbage is higher than other combinations. He answers no when, it, when in fact there is a higher probability of getting these ingredients together. Many people have been eating the burger with shoot as they couldn't give up the cabbage, thinking that they are unlucky to always get the shoots. But it was all set up to get the shoots with cabbage. As users found that there was a certain logic behind the flame system, they were experimenting with systems in the KMS test server and found that the inner ability system also had a similar logic. On February 19, KMS released an apology letter from director Kang won -gi. He explained the cause of the variability of bonus stats and admitted that inner ability had the same manipulation. He also said that since the beginning of MapleStory service, random has been used in the game as a general term for the act of determining the result by generating random numbers according to the specified conditions. Wow. On February 19, MapleStory users announced the first written statement, insisting to accurately announce errors, release compression data after error correction, director's apology and measures to prevent a reoccurrence, compensation plan for items used with errors, 
reveal the detailed probability of random items, such as star force, cubes, inner ability, boss drops, scrolls, and etc. Establishing an outlet for communication between consumers and Maple Street to restore trust. On February 24, KMS released compensation of Flame and Owner EXP used. Compensation for bonus stats, errors, and inner ability errors. Are you sure it's an error? It's a fraud. And they're only giving 10% of compensation for two years. No apology, nor admitting the manipulation. Currently, MapleStory users started truck protest. KMS users got mad for being treated unfairly. They voluntarily raised funds and sent protest trucks to the Nexon and Seoul area. KMS users also started boycotting MapleStory. Zero money spent challenge. 456 users participated and posted on the InBan website. It revealed that roughly 961,000 US dollar was spent between January and February of 2021 by these 456 users. It only calculated the ones that posted on the website and there are many more who are boycotting it. Here's the pictures of the truck protest in Korea. The building on the left picture is Nexon. I found some pictures of the truck signs that I wanted to share with you. First, inner ability has an error? Ah, Maple Story team's ability has an issue. Second, Maple Story has camped for 7 years and compensates 10% for the past 2 years. Compensation should not be for the error but for the fraud. Be transparent with the probabilities. Third, legendary inner ability. Ignoring user's opinion, 30%. Probability of having gambling items, 20%. Nexus indifference level, plus two. Rate of users, 40%. And the last one. Wasn't even expecting self-regulation. Not even disclosing without regulation. Even casino discloses its gambling rate. Reveal the probabilities maple story. Here's the inability logic that KMS user have found. If you lock two options, you have a higher chance of getting the ones in between. You can use it to target a specific option that you want. For example, when you reset your inability, if you lock magic attack increase option and all stat percent increase options, you'll have higher chance of having the critical race increase option. So if you lock buff duration increase and meso obtained increase option, you'd most probably get item drop rate increase option. So it's not a random, but it's like a recipe. But there's one thing. There are same options with two different code. So when you're aiming for attack speed increase option, you'd lock all stat increase and star increase. But if the star increase is the one you locked is code 17, you'll probably get attack speed increase. However, if the star increase that you locked is the code 00, the first one on top, you get all the options between code 0 to code 15. And you only know once you try. So it's kind of random. Well, like I said, KMS users have found the logic behind the inner ability and it doesn't matter which line you lock, but some of the options are only available on the first line of legendary rank, so you wouldn't lock the first slot if you're aiming for it, right? This recipe, it increases your chance of having desired options, but does not guarantee you to get it. Meanwhile, in Global Maple Story, we get 10% compensation for the past two years, same as KMS, and bonus stats and inability logic will be updated during the March 4 maintenance. But the compensation will be available after the March 10 maintenance. Why? Because on March 7, we have sunny Sunday to receive 50% of ability resets.
So they know that we got the ability logic, so they fix it before 50% of ability reset event. And they're giving the compensation after the sunny Sunday. Simply wow. <sighs> Thank you for watching till the end and giving attention of this issue. I think everyone should know about this. Feel free to share this video to any players you know. And hopefully we can figure this out. If the video was helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Have a nice day. Bye.